on the Cub 5 V type, once you get the back cover off, you'll see the jumper pin right here. Out of the box, it's set for up to 20 volts or up to 200 volts, depending how you set the menu settings. So if you have a lower voltage input, you can take this, pull it out, move it over to these two points. You can connect a 20 millivolt or two volt input. For the current type, the Cub 5i, you'll see that it has a few extra jumper pin options. <clears throat> so there's essentially four different settings that you can do. Uh, out of the box, it's set for a max of 20 milliamps, but you could do 2 milliamps, 200 microamps, or 200 milliamps in addition to the 20 milliamps, depending upon how you have the jumper pins uh, the jumper pin set. But like I said, out of the box, it's set for 20 milliamps. So you just remove that little jumper pin, put it where you need it, and then when you go into the menu settings on the device, you can select the input range that you're looking for.